Hey everybody, this is Rhino and we're back to Dicey Dungeon. Let's, or Dicey Dungeons with an S. Let's continue. We didn't get very far with the thief uh, when we played with him the first time. So now we're playing with the robot. And win or lose, I think we are going to pretty much unlock a new character. So, it all seems to work out pretty well. is the mechanical arm I guess you always want to roll I could also roll right now and be fine so you always want to do that because that's going to increase an attack it does then also make sense to do this one although ultimate weapon does about does exactly the same anyways see do three damage and get a new dice that way go ahead and just heal or do more damage that's an interesting question hmm. Hmm. just play it safe and heal and then more error out and end our turn Hitting kind of hard. Right, two. Let's see, this says do two damage plus one of damage each turn. Is that actually increasing? You just want to kind of play slowly here. Uh, this one's limited to three, so I could do this to do two more damage, or I could heal myself more for two, and honestly healing myself more for two is probably better. Now we have a jackpot, which since we are on jackpot, the ultimate weapon then doubles to do six damage, and then we can lucky shot for five. And then we have to end the turn at that point. Okay. The thing is, it definitely feels like you're gonna run out of room to upgrade and yourself and just increase your health in these runs. So it's a good thing they don't go that long. Because if they did go really long, that would be a problem. Ah, uh, I didn't play right there. I should have increased my health some more. Uh, but whatever. Spatula is an interesting thought. Right now we have the pea shooter that's reusable to... If you fill it with five, you would do two damage. I think you replace that with spatula. Now, arguably I would like to move some of these around so that this made a little bit more sense. See if that helps. Our life is low. First roll. Should check what he does. Now we have a one. We flip the one to a six. And it really wouldn't do anything for us at the moment, other than we could do six damage. Would we possibly get a jackpot in this case? Now this does three damage, so the mechanical arm is just getting stronger and stronger. So we need to play that. Hmm. J 
just do that much damage. Roll again. Okay, we're at a jackpot. And we have a four. We could roll one more dice for healing crystals, or we could just heal three now. Or do a lucky shot and do five. I think you do lucky shot now. Maybe I should have done something to use juggling ball. The kennel core arm needs six. Okay. One. You flip this to a six. You do that much. Hmm. You do that. Well, actually, you're, you're safe enough at a five to just roll again. Anyways. Do that much damage. Do that to get a new dice. And winning is the smartest move, so let's just win. That leveled us up, gave us some new extra CPUs, which, what do the extra CPUs do? They just increase the odds of something else. Alright. Ultimate weapon being upgraded, I think, is obviously the one you would want to upgrade. Spatula being able to flip th three things would be nice, but I don't think it's necessary. Mechanical arm being upgraded doesn't seem to do anything. Plasma Blaster 1 would get rid of the max 6 recommend limit. Juggling Ball would upgrade it from max 3 to max 4. Hmm. Yeah. That's the one I want to upgrade though, obviously. Let's keep on playing. This is the key master, and I think their layout of the attacks of characters is always going to be the same. So it's not like we'll ever find a key master that has different attacks. They may have different health in the long run. Okay. Roll, roll. A spatula on this and then do this for 8 damage oh man new dice you can't go mechanical arm to charge it up and then 5 damage here that literally leaves me with only healing crystals um, lucky shot can't do healing crystals, don't need to do healing crystals. So he rolls a 6 that unlocks the Keyblade to do 3 damage and return a dice. Right. 6, rolling another 6 to get to 16 is impossible. Okay. Mechanical arm. Yeah, and I guess you just win here, and there's nothing else that would stop you from needing to to just win here, so take it. <laughs> to the shop we go. Let's see, short circuit would be an attack. Roll any four dice to activate. Do the damage. Uh, do that amount of damage and roll for status. Random status. Add a random status to yourself or the opponent, I wonder. Let's see. Bump blade. Do one damage. Get a new dice plus one value. Ray gun, I would say no to. Guess we'll try short circuit. Eat this food. 
what are we gonna get rid of instead? Just see, hope that works out for us. Move on. Hmm. Hmm. Yeti weak to fire. Okay. I think short circuit is probably an awful card now that I'm looking at it and thinking about it. Like, well, I guess it's rolls, so it's not that big of a deal. If I flip something, does that count as a roll? No. Um, so, short circuit kind of works, but probably not greatly. Yeah, it starts here, so you auto roll like that, and that's going to activate short circuit then you would want to do this to do that much and then this much to do that much and then just regenerate three there go ahead and flip this mechanical arm on that we didn't actually activate short circuit there though right so Still not certain if that is the right move. Max 3 would double the dice value to a 6. I don't think that's a card I would want to use. Right, roll. This damage is back down to two damage on the mechanical coal arm. Uh, did I not use it one turn? Do you have to use it every single turn or it resets? Or does it reset each run? Even if it reset every run, as the fights get longer, that is going to be more valuable. At the point where I really don't feel it's necessary to look at the attacks of the opponents. Yeah. I definitely don't feel like I'm thinking about the actions of the of the opponents much. I'm just doing my own thing here. that is working out fairly well. But also because I'm not paying attention to the opponents, then I also am not really keeping a tight eye on my own health. Do that. Do that. Is it necessary to do the mechanical arm to win here? Flip this. Do this. Regenerate this. Do that. Well, 
didn't win that turn. So hopefully I don't take more damage by going an extra turn than I regained. Let's see. No, mechanical arm once again reset. Hmm. So it does seem like it resets when you don't use it. So I'll have to keep that in mind. It may not matter that much. Hey, this is a trading post. You can trade something here. Double dice value to headbutt to do that amount of damage if it's an even thing. Sure, let's take a deal. Even though we actually won't use that item it is probably better to have an item that is at least a little bit intriguing honestly it feels like you could only do odd or even uh attacks if you have another attack that that balances it out so one that activates on odd and one that activates on even unless we're going to get a character that always rolls odds or always rolls evens or has a higher chance of that happening um, which is possible, certainly. So, do four damage, add one each roll for mechanical arm. Now. Oh, I think I understand how this works now, and, and that's why I wasn't really understanding it up until this point. One damage to get a new dice. Spatula to do this. Do this. So, the trick is to gamble more and more with this, like that. And now the mechanical arm does 6 damage instead of 1 it was doing before. that special that do that do this all right we'll try this do one damage and add a random status it, that added it to the enemy okay healing crystals calculate for one go ahead and heal and then we'll go ahead and calculate that. I guess the move here is to do a lucky shot. Like. <clears throat> Not able to do much there. Okay. So then when you auto roll like that, that's like five and a jackpot. So do that much. Regenerate to start with. And this should do double the damage and win. And that did teach me something that you don't have to have the jackpots. Um, See. We could CPU counter plus one, two uses per turn, or reduce CPU by the amount on the 
on this. I think increment is almost certainly the smarter move there. But I'm not 100% certain. I'd have to give it some thought. I guess the question is, do I think increment beats spatula or healing crystals? I don't think it does, but it may beat short circuit. Short circuit's unlikely to be useful. Or I could just do plasma blaster for more damage. Which I think that actually is more useful. Here we have a wicker man, weak to fire. There's multiple characters that are weak to fire, but I assume they have other elements to them. Let's see, 6 and 6 would be 12. We can at least do that much. And then go ahead and do that. And go ahead and do that. I guess I could have flipped a 4 to a 3 and then juggling ball in that case. And that would have let me do a little bit more. Yeah, he has this wicker staff that seems to do a massive amount of fire damage. Okay. Flip this, this would be a two. Get a new dice. Do that. Hmm. Now the thing here is he burns two dice, so does that mean when I like auto roll here? Are the first two dice going to be on fire? I guess the answer to that is yes. Do that one. And I guess flip that one. That's going to be like 16 damage, so I'll be at 1. Then do that. And then regenerate 3. And then do that. There we go. Hey, come on in. Tell me. What do you want in an upgrade? More compact machinery, more power, more flexibility. I can't upgrade anything past one upgrade. We could do juggling ball to do a max four. Or we could do mechanical arm, which would then allow you to do one damage on anything. Which I think that would potentially open up the value more than anything else so I'll pick on that take that food off to the shop we go or towards the shop so two if I got a six it would be over so it would be fairly gambly Start with this. Do this. Five damage or three damage, and I guess it's better to do five damage. To gain two health or do four damage. that work pretty well. Six shooter does six damage. So he can only shoot 
if he has sixes. But it does do high amounts of damage. Three on that one. Six on that one. Five on that one. Three heal or four damage. In this case, it's probably better to do. I could actually flip it. Hmm. Let's just go with that. So he's at two now. Hmm. Midnight Charm works to giving him two sixes, so by spending one six, he got two sixes. My health is low, though. Generate three there, take that there. I guess I could have maybe spatulaed something to gain more health. But since I didn't do that, overkill with 10 extra damage. Hmm. Hey, look around. I just sold the last waffle maker, but maybe something else could, will take your fancy. The enemy rolls a dice, that dice is locked. Interesting. Spike shield. Or straight up just restore 10 health. Restoring 10 health is the first move. We have a lot of money, so we probably should buy it. I don't think I'm going to do anything with counter spell. But... Let's just buy a bunch of things. Anyways. See if maybe there's an achievement for filling out your backpack. If anything, it feels like all the achievements in this game may very well be around actually beating the levels. Um, and very possibly this is a roguelite style of game where beating all of the episodes of... A specific character unlocks a new ability or new item uh, that you would not even be able to get until you get that first victory. Right, roll, roll, and then think about it. Three damage for four, or go with seven damage, and then go with. Well, no. This would flip to a three, which then would let me do this, which then lets me do this. Now I have a jackpot. I could do five damage, four damage, or four damage. Or I could roll one more time. And in this case, rolling one more time is the better move, because now I would do 5 damage plus 4 damage. And that sets me up nicely. What is Frozen doing? Turns the last dice into a 1. Oh, I see what it's doing. 
Well, that actually just lets me roll more often, though. Not sure that quite worked out the way they had hoped. It's a decent damn uh, chance that I will get a jackpot. Uh, is there any reason to go any further in this though? Not really, just either play the mechanical arm or play plasma blaster, either one will win. I'll ever go to snowball fight and that was pretty good. Let's stick around and make snow angels. Small shield, max 3 adds shields. It's a consideration, certainly. Instead of recovering health, potentially getting shields instead. Hmm. I guess the experiment to do would be to replace healing crystals with small shield and see how that works for you. Small shield's useful when your health is at full or when you just have a whole bunch of other things. Six. Oh, six would work there. Four damage here. Hmm. One shield. Hmm. Blocks incoming damage. Probably not all incoming damage. Now we'll see what the Rat King's gonna do. He needs a five. Countdown to do one poison damage and a wrap and roll a new dice. Which basically, I think this means he has a very high chance of doing six attacks and six damage each turn, no matter what. Hmm. Okay. So, limit break to start with. Let's see. Do this. Do this. Do this. Do this. And then jackpot for the lucky shot to win. I guess the question to ask is, would we keep any of our shields? And we might as well have spent all of our money because we are now at the boss fight. Robot versus Drake. So yeah, there has to be 36 different bosses in the entire game. Or something similar to that. Wooden stake. Takes 40, takes the final 5 HP from vampires. Well, I think it's pretty obvious that you need wooden stake equipped. So then we will put it where the plasma blaster is. And. Yep. Then we go. Drake can only be killed by a wooden stake? Well, it would have really sucked if you had not equipped that. Yeah, okay, then let's fight. I told everyone to go easy on you. You know I wanted to take you out myself. Seems like the boss fights are always standing on this stage. Okay. So, 
How are we gonna play this? Six here. To do eight damage to start. Sounds good. Flip this to a three. And then three shields sounds good. And then oh man, I should have done a three there first. Wasn't terrible, but not great. He has suck blood, which drains health and refills health. And then a smog cloud, which inflicts three poisons and three blind. Okay. Start with that one. That one. If I flipped a 4 to a 3, again I could get a shield. I'm just being fairly cautious here. Hmm. I also need to start just building up this. So, let's just balance out that somewhat. There's really no point that to get him close to death when we can't actually defeat him in death. Right, so we're blind and we have no idea. So the target's 15. We could get some information in that that was higher than three or less. So we know that's high. So let's just see how much damage that does. That seems like a lot. That was three or less. Now at this point it doesn't matter what we have, we should just roll and use it. Flip this to a four, you could yeah, this would flip to a five. So do that. I guess. It must be very close. Do that. Alright, we've got a full jackpot now. So let's do a lucky shot. And bring that back down. And then return there. Again, just committed to making this difficult on us. One, two. Let's see. That was less. That was a big number. That's a big number. So we'll do this one. If it's a big number, we can flip it and immediately know it's going to be a small number, even if we don't know what the number is. So we can play that. If this is small number that gives us shields hmm. let's do four damage there hmm. yeah he's at 12 and yeah we're gonna be it's gonna be a little difficult to get him exactly where we need him to be Start with that. I get some down. I could do 12 or 6 damage right now, and it actually would only do 3 damage. So, what we need is this, this. Our health is fine this shield for protection we should get this next turn 
but it also I guess if he manages to drain a bunch of attack from us. Alright, well that defeats that. Okay, he's at eight. Let's go ahead and flip a one to know it's a six. Six there. Let's go ahead and play literally anything to do seven damage. And that gets him down to one. We're doing a boss fight, so there's no real reason to regenerate. And we're in stake him for the victory. Hmm. What a wonderful batch of contestants you all are. And what a beautiful victory. Thank you, I worked very hard. I can tell. Now fingers crossed we spin the wheel. Depending on how it lands, you to walk away with a prize or we invite you back to join us for another episode. Actually, I'm going to uncross my fingers if that's okay with you. The wheel's really heavy and I need a good grip. That's okay, I've got all my fingers and toes crossed. I know it doesn't change the outcome of the spin, but it helps me stay calm. Well, take a deep breath while the wheel spins and... Even the sound effects really show that it's cheating. I'm so sorry. It looks like you didn't win a life without sleep at least not yet but you do take home a secret bonus prize an expired 50% off voucher for your local pizza restaurant and of course you'll get a chance to return in the dungeons in another episode so yeah it looks like we've unlocked a new character and you get a marker uh, showing that you beat that level we now have unlocked the inventor. Each of these characters do seem to be fairly varied in what they do. And yeah, I could end right now and make a short episode. Or we could just focus on going forward and being out of order. And I think it's better just to focus on making consistent hour long episodes and going forward. Oh wow, this place is so cool, the doors, the spotlights, oops, sorry, I mean, thanks for having me on the show. The difficulty is definitely going up with each of these characters. Mm. It's time to meet our fourth member of our little squad. What she lacks in attention span, she makes up for ingenuity. Yes, that's right, it's time for the inventor. Yep, and I guess that's supposed to be a female shadow form, oh, I guess. Then turns into, uh, I guess, female dice, if dice have gender. Wait, how did you do that? I'm really a dice. Oh wow, my little legs. This shouldn't be possible. I'm the all-powerful personification of fate, my dear. Everything's possible. Now, what brought you to the dungeons this evening? Oh, well, we all caught the train together. It was one of those new model T-132s with the regenerative brakes. Do trains have regenerative brakes? Maybe they do. I guess if they were electric, that would make sense. I see, yes. But what, my dear, are you hoping to win? Uh, complete understanding of everything in the universe. I can tell we're going to have a wonderful time in the dungeons tonight. So let's get started. Alright. So, potentially the inventor is going to have hammer themed attacks and maybe more items pick up the, but maybe some kind of caveat is going to stop the usefulness of those items too like slime strong against poison slimes are fairly common in dungeon crawlers but this is the first time I've seen one in an ice cream cone. Right. Six damage. Uh, to do one shot. Sounds good. Current gadget would be a heat ray. Which is not what the enemy has. And it would burn all dice. I don't know why I would want to burn my dice. So I'd have to kind of assume 
that it would burn the opponent's dice for potentially six damage which is I think better than anything else I have to do so yeah that burned her dice and it didn't like require me to use any dice at all interesting so yeah you're just gonna have like a random effect or you're gonna evolve your gadgets let's see combine that for a six do that burn dice in turn so they basically cannot play at this point they, they will just lose and what happens if I combine that then I'll end up with extra gun um, I'd end up with an extra dice okay victory you throw away all your boring, your boring old gadget you're inspired to create a new gadget choose an item to destroy for parts interesting well if I get rid of this I would get a P gun to do three damage if I get rid of this I would shock three equipment if I do this I, I could combine all dice to higher numbers hmm the applause is actually pretty realistic in the background here I think we'll do this one and hope that's right and so now we see the element that you needed is you're gonna just have to have a constant surplus of items and this is an interesting background too that we are seeing when we pick up the items because I don't feel like the game was changing the background when we picked up items before but maybe it was okay so for every fight you are going to potentially change if not get rid of an item for parts okay so battle wrench would combine all dice and give me a four which that would make it even so I could burn one dice or I could just do for lightning damage so that is something that will probably play better later on when we have more dice in the first place Combine that for six, you do that, that shocks an enemy, and at one. So, new gadget we could upgrade would go to do three fire damage, or this would just do five damage each turn which that's a pretty great option but you always get rid of your equipment so is it really even that useful well I guess five damage is still better than three fire damage so let's just go with five damage we now have an extra dice now we have a staff that does six damage. This is going to become a delicate balancing option, certainly, as this boils down to it. Right. Plasma gun, five damage, can only do it once. Even could burn one dice against the enemy 
five would do two damage, whereas this would do five damage. So obviously you do this one. And then we'll work towards building that down. Although probably won't even matter. Let's see. Sneeze reduce the cooldowns of all on all equipment. Interesting. That sneeze can be very useful. If we even got to that point. Six damage or plus one six damage plus one shock. Which is better, shocking or burning? I think it's probably better to do this, than do this, and then work towards pulling that down. What does our limit break do? All dice become six. Okay, well, 666, there's no healing here, we could really use that, and then we'll just attack with our weapon. I wasn't always sneezy, you know, I'm just allergic to dungeons. Okay, so what do we want to upgrade? Hmm. You can't hit B, so you have to pick something. Any even to burn one dice, or the pea shooter to do two damage at five to get a pea gun. Right, so that just kind of sucks. Bump dice value plus one. Healing crystals recover health plus three. I'll stick with healing crystals first. Yep, this is this is gonna be dangerous, but you know you can't skip fights, so it's not like you really have a choice anyways. Weak to shock. Let's see what what that does. I have to assume that a weak to shock attack means he does more damage, but does that mean he does double the damage? If I do a 5 here, will that do 10 damage to him? He's at 13. That did do double damage, so I can just win here. So, get your health higher, and then use your gun and win. Although I guess it didn't matter if I got my health higher or not. Regenerate plus three health. It's not worth it. Let's instead do that. We can also get double a dice value or two dice plus to burn in a flamethrower. I feel like the flamethrower is a nicer thought. We have gold here. So. Hammer plus doesn't seem to do anything. Spark plus would then burn one dice on anything. Flamethrower could be four dice once per day battle. Healing crystals could be max four and reduce poison. Yeah, Spark Plus is obviously the best move there. And we can't afford anything else. 
Ken left Bompier to see what the gadget preview would be. As far as what those weapons are. Can you do that as far as other items too? Flamethrower, flamethrower. These two both go to blowtorch. This goes to regenerate, this goes to jackhammer. Obviously we'd want to equip what we have. Okay. Is baby squid not weak to fire? Apparently not. Okay. I could do eight now. Or I could do six now. I can do this. Yeah, that doesn't work. Well, I guess there's no real reason to do anything, so we'll just stop playing at that point. Hmm. A lot of work there to blind me. Hmm. So let's just do this. And then do this. And... See, this would do two damage. I did this. Could bump up to three. We don't need to heal. We could do three damage, or we could burn one dice. So, do three damage. And he can't play. Or he loses. And they won't just play to lose themselves. Which. Maybe it would be nicer if they did just play and save yourself some time. We could get a mega bump, plus one, or we could get rid of this to do three fire damage. I feel like we'll do Mega Bump just because we haven't done that before. We could also get the Boomerang, and it does seem like that makes the most amount of sense. Just to always buy items and always try to have items. If you manage to go through even four fights without getting a new item, you would be really in a bad position. Um, so yeah, the inventor definitely puts a different spin on it. We've gone another hour, so that's where I'm going to end this episode. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment, and watch every second of my videos. If you want a friend to follow me on any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. And if you want to support me further, there's a link to Patreon, or you can friend me on Steam and get the main game off my wishlist. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.